it's possible to add some HTML styling to your Neatline records. This can be used to highlight uh, major sections and subsections within your waypoints, and it can also be used to create sections within your Neatline body. The content in this video is also explained in a written tutorial that you can find here or in the description below these videos. If you'd like to follow the text in this video, make sure you've turned on closed captioning. Here I have uh, a bunch of waypoints that have been added in, but I want to create a major section with this waypoint and then a second major section. And I can do this using formatting, so I could make the text bold or make it larger using HTML headers. If I navigate to the first record, and remember I can type HTML directly into the title and body areas of a Neatline record. To add a heading, I can simply type open angle bracket h1 close angle bracket and type the corresponding HTML tag to close at the end of the title. This little line of HTML, when I save, will make my text much larger. And notice that uh, it gets very large on the right hand side and in the uh, title at the top of the Neatline record bubble. So I may want to experiment with other tags. In HTML, there are six header tags, H1 to H6, H1 being the top level and H6 being the lowest level. I could instead try H2, and save, and that will make my text automatically a little bit smaller. If you are proficient at HTML, you could add styling within this tag to be a bit more specific about the size of the font. One easy way to uh, add formatting without getting complicated is to use uh, the strong tag, which will make this heading bold. So now it stands out and it makes the subsequent records in the waypoints appear as if they fall within a section. So now we can create another section for this West Campus record by adding a strong tag. Another way that we could do this is by navigating to Edit HTML and using these uh, rich text formatting options. So by default now the strong tag represents the bold button, but I could also make it italic. And when I close my editor and save, now I have a, a head, section header that is both bold and italic. It's also possible to add footnotes within a uh, Neatline record text. If you have a particularly long text and you want to be able to refer to a source or provide more tangential information in a body tag, let's go to an item that has information in the body and we'll click on Edit HTML to look at the large form. Now we need to look at the source. And we're going to do this for the text above the iframe in this case. So I will return down to make room for our text. And let's say I want to add a footnote at the end of this paragraph. The HTML syntax for a footnote is going to be open angle bracket a href equals and then we have to create a tag and this can be anything you want beginning with a hash but I will start with footnote dash one and that will let me know within those quotations that that is my first footnote 
And then I need to actually add the footnote text itself. So SUP for superscript one, this will be the small number one that will appear uh, just after the period in the sentence. And then close SUP HTML and close that link. Now I need to add a corresponding space for my footnote below that paragraph. So on a new line, I'm going to add a new paragraph, and this one I will call ID equals, and I'll give that footnote name, this time without the hash. And then I will add in the text itself one footnote. And we'll see that one footnote appear as text. Anything inside of these angle brackets will not appear, but it will be formatting our text for us. Now I will close, and we should already see it here, but let me save to be sure that it's saved. And here we have our footnote and the corresponding footnote below. One thing that might help us is to add a little bit of a line so I could add a break in between the text and the footnotes. I could do this simply by adding in a series of dashes here, or I could use the HTML uh, break tags. For more information, you might check out the W3Schools tutorials on formatting with HTML.